We need to talk about strikes. We need to talk about inflation, disinflation, and deflation. And of course, we need to talk about the housing market, what is going on in various areas, and what are some numbers that we all should be tracking. First and foremost, folks, this is a recording for the daily financial news from Saturday, December, or December. Wow, where did December come from? October 14th. Let's get into it first. Let me remind you, folks, that uh, Meet Kevin uh, just posted our hour long interview. If you can do me a favor, go over to the Meet Kevin channel, find the video of him and I talking housing crash, and leave a little comment, maybe a thumbs up. Let him know that you appreciated having one rental at a time on. That would be great. If enough of you go over there, maybe, just maybe, he'll invite us back and we can talk real estate maybe once a quarter. Wouldn't that be a lot of fun? Also, remember, we gave you something on this channel yesterday. Jason Pritchard, the best of the best investors in Central California, spent two hours with the one rental at a time boot camp group. And... uh we're giving it away for free. All you have to do is subscribe to my third channel called Best of ORAT, O-R-A-A-T, Best of ORAT. There's about 250, maybe 300 subscribers there. Uh, hit the notica- notification bell because you will only ever get one video a day, unlike my main channel where you could get six or seven. Uh, on Best of ORAT, you're going to get two hours of Jason Pritchard do- dropping knowledge about working with your spouse who may be risk averse how to get to proof of concept, how to scale, how to use a secret mailer. There's a mailer that Jason is using now that tripled his conversion rate, folks. If you're in the uh, off-market business and you could triple your lead flow, you're going to want to pay attention. He actually goes over and gets a sample of them. They're pretty powerful. So go get that free stuff. Best of ORAP, subscribe, watch it. It will not be out there very long. It might be there a week. Uh, but do yourself a favor and watch it. So let's talk about inflation, disinflation, and deflation. There's a lot of folks that get these terms confused. Inflation, obviously, is one we've become very familiar with. That is prices rising. Disinflation is prices rising, but at a slower rate. For example, we are having disinflation in CPI headline. It was 9.1, is now 3.7. Yes, inflation is still happening, but it is happening at a slower rate. And then, of course, there is deflation. Deflation. This is what China's economy, as we talked about yesterday on the Daily Financial News, is concerned about. You get into an environment where there's deflation, the consumer pulls back even more because they think that prices will go down and the economy crumbles. So these are very important terms. So where was deflation in the last CPI reading? There were actually some. Probably not surprising to you, but eggs had deflation. Eggs were down 14.5%. Yes, negative 14.5%. Milk, these are all year-on-year numbers, by the way. These are year-on-year. Milk was down 3.6%. Fuel oil was down 5.1%. Laundry equipment was down 13.6%. Airfare down 13.4%. And TVs down 10.3%. So that is true deflation. Where we're seeing deflation is what we've been talking about. It is in the physical goods. Where we are seeing some disinflation is in uh, services and other aspects. But again, we have to watch for this uh, because, again, these are these are things that will hopefully be rippling through CPI very shortly. Uh, let's talk about Lance Lambert. He has sent out his first Resi Club uh, newsletter. Again, go over to resiclubanalytics.com, sign up for his uh, free newsletter. I believe it comes out once a day, five days a week, and uh, you will not be disappointed. It is free. It is housing, housing, housing. He is going to continue to be the man for the investors, the little guy like you and I. So it's going to be very, very cool. Uh, looks like Lennar is trying to unload inventory. Yes, 4.75% 30-year um Fixed money in Colorado, or thirty-three thousand dollars towards closing costs. Holte is at four point nine nine in September. Now at five point seven five. Even the builders are raising uh, rates. Again, rates at eight percent are downward pressure. We will see just how downward pressure this Thursday, I believe, when we get existing home sales. I'm estimating below four million. Yes, below four million. Uh, currently, our low is four point oh two million. I believe we are going lower. Looks like Kaiser has agreed, uh, at least has a tentative agreement on ending the strike. 
Uh, they are getting a 21% pay hike over four years. There are protections also against uh, outsourcing. Uh, UAW has had enough with the car manufacturers in the telegraph strikes. They now will have strikes without notice. And uh, this is where we're going. Uh, Paul Krugman, inflation is over. Did you hear? Inflation is over. If you remove food, energy, shelter, and used cars. I can't believe somebody said that. Like inflation is over. Just don't eat. Don't use energy. Don't have shelter. And don't drive. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't know if you know this, but food, energy, shelter, and used cars make up 55% of the index. So folks, hey, if you remove 55% of the index, according to Paul Krugman, inflation is over. I almost can't say that with a straight face. Uh, looks like we got some updated uh, numbers on foreclosures. This is from Adam Research, A-T-T-O-M. Uh, lender repossessions are up 9%. They are at 11,020. That is for Q3 of 2023. Uh, we've got uh, you know filings uh, now at 37,679 in September. Let's call it 40,000. That is up 11%. It is starting to approach pre-pandemic levels. Uh, but it is certainly not a repeat of where we were. So at the end of the day, um, another stat I think we saw from Sacramento, uh, SAC appraiser, uh, Ryan Lundquist. Ryan Lundquist put out a great stat about short sales in Sacramento going up 100%. Yes, folks, Sacramento had a 100% rise in short sales. It went from one to two. That's where we are. So at the end of the day, folks, remember, do me a favor. Go check out Meet Kevin. Watch the hour-long interview where we talk housing, housing, housing. Let me know how I did. Leave a comment below. Let me know how I did. Let me know if you thought it was any good. Uh, let him know that uh, you'd love to see one rental at a time back on his channel. That would be great. Uh, folks, have a great day. And please go to Best of ORAT because you're going to get a real treat. Two hours of content that we did just for our boot camp. Uh, we're giving it away for free as a thank you. Take care.